so far we've seen that sine magnitude representation is problematic because it has two different representations for zero and because it makes arithmetic complicated. A better representation for negative and positive integers is called twos complement. Now this is the system used on all modern machines and it only has one zero and it makes arithmetic simple to carry out. Now we'll learn more about why this is the case in a future module, but first you need to know how to convert from either binary or sine magnitude to two's complement. Now the way that we'll do this is via an intermediary representation known as one's complement. So let's work an example. Let's start with the decimal number 90. And at the same time, we'll also convert negative 90 so that you can see the contrast between how they're handled. Now, in sine magnitude representation, we know that we can compute the binary value of 90, which incidentally is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. And that would be the same for both the positive and the negative version. And this uses up 7 bits. Our 8 bit is the sine bit. For the positive 90, our sine bit is a 0. And for the negative 90, our sine bit is a 1. So these are sine bits. And this portion is the magnitude. Of 90. Now to get a one's complement representation you'll see that for the positive value we actually don't do anything. In one's complement we represent positive 90 with the same binary string. 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Once again, this 0 represents a positive sign. These 7 bits represent the magnitude 90. However, the negative number is represented differently. We will still have a 1 here represent a negative sign. But for all of the other digits, we take the opposite of the digit in the positive representation. So zeros become ones and ones become zeros. So we have zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. So this is what happens when we flip all the bits from the positive representation. To get to two's complement, we do one more step. At least in the case of the negative number we do. The positive number is once again the same. Positive 90 in two's complement representation is simply 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Once again, this 0 here represents a positive sign. 
and these bits indicate that the value is 90. To get the negative representation in 2's complement, we take the 1's complement representation and add 1 to it. So if we add 1 to this binary number, 1 plus 1 will be 0, and a 1 will carry into this slot. The remainder of these digits will be the same. So our result will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So this still indicates the sign, but this is the result of adding 1 to the 1's complement representation. So as a refresher, if a value is positive, its sign magnitude representation and its 1's complement representation and its 2's complement representation will all be the same. If a value is negative, then you can take the magnitude and flip all of those bits to get the 1's complement representation and then add 1 to that binary number to get the 2's complement representation. However, no matter which system you are using, an initial bit of 0 represents a positive number, an initial bit of 1 represents a negative number. The next module will explain why this representation is useful and why it makes sense.